My goodness, look at these live pictures from California. Firefighters in that state are battling a fast-moving wildfire. It's burning in the suburbs just north of L.A. I can tell you mandatory evacuations are in place in some areas, but as they get close, you can almost feel the heat, can't you? Looking at that on your screen, that's what people are dealing with right there. Residents are being warned to leave while they can. We've got Natasha Fata tracking the story. What is happening right now, Natasha? Well, Suhanna, now that daylight has officially come out in California, those firefighters, the officials can go out into these affected communities and get, her, get a better sense of how bad the damage is. Those gusty winds overnight have really caused a lot of havoc throughout southern parts of California. We have been informed of multiple buildings and homes being burned, but an exact number at this stage has not been accounted for. Fortunately, so far, no reports of injuries, but this is what hundreds of firefighters across the state are dealing with. So as you mentioned, there are mandatory evacuations in place because if you're living close to there and we know that it's creeping up on residential neighborhoods in the Los Angeles area, there's no way it's safe for people to stay in their homes. And in fact, overnight, people were trying to escape because one of of those wildfires actually skipped over a number of highways and so it was able to catch fire into areas that people had not anticipated having to leave in the middle of the night so let's show you a clip of a person um, a freelance journalist who was in those roads close to the firefighters getting a sense of how dangerous the situation was really putting themselves their engine in between that fire and the building I can tell you it is now extraordinarily hot yeah. Very hot right now. We gotta get the engine, we gotta get the car out of here. Imagine having to deal with a situation like that, and that's what the scenes were like overnight. Why was the fire moving so quickly? It had everything to do with those Santa Ana wind gusts moving the flames very rapidly, and we know that some people were trying to avoid the evacuation orders. They were trying to put out the fires themselves. Well, the police chief said, don't do that. You're putting everyone in danger. Let's have a listen to him. It was in areas that had been ordered evacuated and saw residents attempting with small hoses and other uh, uh, tools to, to, to combat a fire that was simply out of control. Not only did they jeopardize themselves and their lives, they jeopardized the lives of firefighters and others that have to come and try to rescue them. And because the fires are so strong in the southern part of the state, the Southern California Edison Utility Company is cutting off power to at least 20,000 customers today. Now, the blackouts in Northern California, Natasha, they continue. What is the status on that front? It is not good. A lot of criticism because they had anticipated that the fires would happen in the north. They are not. They're happening in the south. And so even the governor has come out saying this was very poor planning on the part of PG&E. Thank you, Natasha. You're welcome.